new host, Dave Michaels. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Good afternoon. Welcome once again to High Q. TV5 is happy you're back with us once again on this Sunday afternoon for another fun game of knowledge. We have two new high school teams with us this afternoon ready to play our game of quick recall. First, let's meet the team from North Clayton High School. John Sawyer, Jr. <clears throat> Bill Bond, Sr. David Teasley, Jr. Thomas Bailey, Jr. And there's the team from North Clayton High School. Now let's meet their opponents from Briarwood High School. Robert Morris, Sr. Doug Dahm, Sr. Deborah Kiefer, Sr. Kim Jones, Sr. And there are the scholars from Briarwood High School. Right now, let's meet the coaches of these two teams. First, from North Clayton High School, Mrs. Drina Stewart of the Speech and English Department. And from Briarwood High School, Mr. Carl Duvall, school counselor. Coaches and teams, good luck. Well, for three years here in HiQ, we've been introducing our judge, and we've never seen her in person. Today, we get a chance to see her in person, Mrs. Drexel Hodge of Emory University. Now you're a star, see? <laughs> right now, here's Bob Johnson to tell you about our prizes. Thank you, Dave. Each week, TV5 awards $100 to our winning school, and World Book awards a suitable prize from their library of publications. $50 goes to our runner-up school. An additional $50 is set aside each week to be awarded to the Seasons Championship School. These funds will be administered by that school to help finance college educations for its students. And the Atlanta JCs award this high Q trophy of excellence to the Seasons Championship School to be kept by that school until the next Seasons Championship matches. This handsome trophy is awarded to each three-time winning school as a reward for its accomplishments on HiQ. Dave? All right, North Clayton High School and Briarwood are ready to play the game right after you take a look at this message. And there's the whistle starting today's uh, HiQ game. Teams were playing for a 25-point bonus question, but first we have a visual toss-up for both teams. For 10 points, translate this headline from El Tiempo. North Clayton, Bailey. Man in the moon. Yes. We'll take it, yes. Man on the moon, right. Ten points for North Clayton. Okay, we have a 25-point bonus question for North Clayton High School for five points each. What, which anatomical feature do you associate with these non-anatomical objects and places? Number one, the center of a hurricane. The eye. Yes. Number two, the rim of a cogwheel. Your answer? We're looking for teeth on that one. Number three, the forward part of an airplane. No. no. Yes. Number four, the other half of a groove joint. Socket. Socket? No, we're looking for tongue. Number five, the thinnest part of a guitar. Neck. Neck is right. Yes, 15 points out of a 25-point bonus question. Okay, this time we're playing for a 20-point bonus question. Here's another toss-up. Her hiding place was in an old building at 263 Prinzengracht on an Amsterdam canal. North Clayton, Bailey. Anne Frank. It was Anne Frank. Ten points for North Clayton. 20-point bonus question for North Clayton now. After writing works such as McTeague and Blix, this author began a trilogy about the wheat industry. He completed only two books, The Octopus and the Pit. For ten points, name the Chicago-born 19th century American novelist. John, John Carl Carl Sandberg? No, it's Frank Norris. All right, this Norwegian-born American novelist lived for a time in South Dakota. He completed a trilogy which included Peter Victorious, Their Father's God, and Giants in the Earth. For 10 points, name him. John Del Pesos. Your answer? John Del Pesos. John Del Pesos. No, it's uh, Rovag. Rovag. I'm going to ask you to speak up nice and clearly, too, both teams. All right, no points in that win. We have a 25-point bonus question waiting. Here's a toss-up. For 10 points, what device is this? It uses the spin of a rotor to sense the angular motion of a... North Clayton, Sawyer. Gyroscope. Gyroscope is right. Yes, 10 points. Now we have a 25-point uh, bonus question for North Clayton. For five points apiece, apply the term, which is the direct opposite of these terms in science. Number one, accelerator. De-accelerator. De-accelerator. Yeah. take that? Yes. Right. Number two, evergreen. Decentuous. Decentuous. That's right. Number three, aphelion. Amphibian. Amphibian? 
No, we're looking for perihelion on that one. Number four, transverse. Reverse. Reverse? No, it's longitudinal or longitude. Number five, hibernation. We're looking for estivation on that one, estivation. Ten points out of a 25-point bonus question.